Alright, so in today's video I'm going to talk about the MFB PIM on the CSRA 64215 board um, module and also keep in mind this applies to pretty much all the CSR um, CSR modules, so these uh, blue carriers, all of them have an enable PIN, right? Uh, and yeah, basically what I want to do is I have failed to configure these to constantly try to reconnect to the last device. Uh, if someone has any tips, feel free down in the comments. Uh, so basically what I do now is whenever the radio starts, so I'm uh, modding this uh, BE1150 Becker radio and what I need to happen is every time the radio starts up I want it to reconnect to the last device because otherwise you would have to go into the settings and it's disastrous. Right, so investigating I have noticed that there is a tiny transistor on the board, right? This one. I was like, oh, what the hell is this for? Well, as it turns out, the CSR8645 also has it. And it seems that HYT, right, the makers of uh, these boards always seem to <clears throat> seem to integrate this uh, little bit of circuitry. And what it does is it takes uh, voltage in, voltage plus from the second pin on the programming header. So this would be the voltage pin and this is also the positive rail as you can see for the entire chip. So basically the bat gets linked to this, right? So V is tied to bat and is coming from the DC-DC converter. VCC goes into the DC-DC converter and they are galvanically isolated. As I'm sure you guys know. Uh, exactly, where were we? So, basically what happens is I fortunately fried one of these boards, so now we do have a donor one. At startup, right, there's a capacitor, a resistor, and then the base of this uh, transistor, right, right, which then pulls this pin, which is the MFB pin, right? So I have it labeled as MFB. Uh, on the 8645, it's labeled as power enable or some stuff. And there is a resource on the internet that says you're supposed to keep it down for 30 milliseconds at startup. I have boards in which that is clearly not done and it is fine. But uh, yeah, basically the crux of the matter is we have this in... Uh, current meter, uh, current mode, so it's basically a short across the leads. And we're going to tie ground to the MFB and you will see that it shuts down nicely. So it actually does play the shutdown sequence. When you let go it plays the boot up sequence and it uh, basically does its startup routine. And so yeah, that's pretty much a good way to uh, reset these, right? Whenever you want it to reconnect to the last phone, right? You can see now this steady on means it's connected to my phone. The actual phone that is doing the recording, by the way. So yeah, if we want to quickly reset it, you basically pull this down to ground, boom, and you're done, right? And it'll reconnect to the last device. So if you could, for example, have a way to recognize that it is not powered on, that it is not connected, sorry, right? You could technically re, um, reprogram these uh, LEDs, right? And then this one would start on uh, full, right? Without blinking. It would do a 555 timer or some stuff like that that would cycle this on. It's very inelegant, right? I, I admit it's very inelegant, right? It would be cool to be able to program this, but I have tried. By this time, I've tried last year last time, right? But I, I was very frustrating, right? The software isn't that good, and I'm not sure if, if there's anything wrong with the firmware, so <coughs> at least with the hardware solution, you know for sure you're, you're going to be guaranteed success, right? So basically, in this application, I'm just going to have somehow get, uh, get the thing to, pull, to be pulled down to ground when the radio is turned off, right? It's basically what I want to do. That's pretty much all, so hope it helped.